good to see you too, Nancy. Happy New Year. That chip you're talking about is known as the Kwon Pong 920, which is to go into Huawei's new server known as the Taishan server. Now, this is a huge play for Huawei in the cloud uh, space. It's creating not just the hardware, but it's also providing some of those cloud services as well. It's a very nascent business, of course, for Huawei. The main money it makes comes from telecommunications equipment and now consumer electronics like smartphones. But it's hoping this new hardware in the form of the chipset and the server can help boost its presence in the cloud space. But of course, the news comes at a very sensitive time for the company. It's had accusations from the U.S. that it is a national con security concern, that some of its telecommunications equipment could allow the Chinese government backdoor access to the citizens of countries where the equipment in, is in use. These are accusations, of course, that Huawei has strenuously denied over and over again. There's a lot of negative sentiment, however, around the company. I had a chance to catch up with William Shu, who's one of the board directors at Huawei, and asked him whether some of this negative sentiment could affect the sales of its new hardware product. Let's listen in to what he had to say. Because I believe the ARM server has its unique advantages in certain scenarios, only by achieving good quality products can we win over customers, will obey laws and restrictions in local markets, and eventually make products that are recognized and welcomed by customers. The message here really from Huawei is that it continues to innovate despite some of those headwinds. Uh, that there's a, showing a lot of tech prowess with this new chip here. You mentioned that it's a 7 nanometer chip, which is the, the latest in this chip technology uh, as well. It's trying to be cutting edge and it has big ambitions. In another part of that interview, William Shu told me that Huawei wants to be one of the top five global cloud players in the world in the future. So it's still setting its sight high, but of course it has to contend with some of those headwinds. Top of the list, of course, is those political pressures from the U.S. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.